Hey guys, Richard here. Today I want to share my fire plan with you all. And this is one of my main reasons of starting the channel. So I'm gonna go over this today and show you what kind of videos you can expect to see in the future from me. So what is fire? Well, it's this little orange stuff that's quite hot. Oh, sorry, terrible. Let's just move on quickly. What does FIRE stand for? FIRE stands for Financial Independence Retire Early. The main reasons why I started this channel was because I wanted to document and share my journey to financial independence. Or even you could join me if you want. Or you could just watch me struggle from afar. It's up to you, whichever you want to do. How am I going to do this? Well, it is a well-known thing that millionaires and billionaires have multiple income streams. The average millionaire has seven different income streams. So although I'm not planning to be a millionaire anytime soon, that's my goal, is to start as many income streams as possible, which will lead me to financial independence the soonest. Now these income streams can be anything from passive income, like receiving dividends on stocks and shares, or even working income, which is where I'm gonna trade my time for money. This is like your normal day-to-day -day jobs whereby I might go deliver for Uber Eats. I might put a service up on Fiverr for sale, but these are the type of things I'm gonna do. I'm gonna document along the way. Every month or so, I'll put together a video showing my breakdown of all these different income streams. Hopefully there'll be a few by then. And then what I will do is show you how close I am to financial independence as well. So I'll have a running total that I'll set a little bit later in this video, and then we'll slowly tick down as we get closer. So if videos on making money, Budgeting, saving, getting out of debt sounds like something you want to see. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the little notification bell as that'll let YouTube notify you every time I upload a video and you can come and see how we're getting on and hopefully take some useful insights and tips for yourself and we can grow together. So unlike the traditional FIRE movement, I just want the financial independence part of it because I'm one of them weirdos that quite likes working. However, I will still refer to it as FIRE throughout my videos, purely because FI doesn't really have the same ring. And it sounds pretty cool every time you say FIRE. So why do I want financial independence? Well, for me, it's because I want to be able to choose what I want to do, when I want to do it, and where I want to do it. Whereas currently, I, like many of us, are doing the normal one income stream, working nine to five, Monday to Friday, because I have to bring in that money to pay the bills at the end of the month. Whereas if I had income streams that were providing me enough money to pay my bills, I wouldn't need to work, although I still would, but it gives me a lot more freedom and choice to do what I want to do and when I want to do it. So how much money am I gonna to have to make to make this goal a reality? So I figured out I need to bring in 28,000 pounds per year through my investments to make this goal a reality. And I would really like to have this done by the time I'm 45, which is 13 years away. So using the 4% rule, that means I'm gonna need 700,000 pounds saved up, which just sounds ridiculous, considering that's three times the amount of the average UK home, or 26 times the amount of the average UK salary. It feels and even sounds completely unachievable and unrealistic. However, I've seen numerous people time and time again set out tasks like this and hit them. And that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna work as hard as I can to develop these income streams. And with a lot of these things, it's a compounded effect. So as I bring money in, I'm gonna be investing the money straight away, therefore putting the money I make to work to make more money. So once I bring in more money, I'll make more money. Now in numerous books I've read and in past experiences, I found when setting big goals like this, the easiest way of achieving them is to break it down. So rather than just saying, I'm gonna hit 700,000 in 13 years, I'm gonna break it down into years. The smaller the goal you can make it, the more achievement you can get. And every time you hit a goal and make a goal and keep on going, it gives you a sense of enthusiasm and achievement and you're more likely to get there. So currently I have just over 20,000 pounds in the stock market. It ranges anywhere from 20 to 23, depending on how the stocks and index funds are doing that I'm invested in. 15,000 of this is in my SIP, which is my self-invested personal pension. And as I can't take that out until I'm 57 years old, because you can only take it out 10 years before retirement age, which could be 90 by the time I get to retire, officially. I'm going to ignore this income for now, and I'm just gonna to stick to my trading 212 portfolio, which has around about 5,000 in. 
As I said, this can fluctuate above and below depending on the stock market. Therefore, this means we're starting at 5,000, which means I have 695,000 to go. Easy. As with any big goal, the hardest part is generally starting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a very small target to hit to begin with, as when the ball starts rolling, these targets will get easier to hit, and the more income streams I can develop, the easier it will be. So, as mentioned, we're starting with 5,000. So as you can see in this table, year one will be 140 pounds a month, which is 1,400 in the year, as we're already two months into it. Then it continues from there with year two being 400 a month, which is 4,800 and so on, all the way up to the point of year 13, where it's gonna be 12,000 pounds a month, which I can't even get my head round because that just sounds ridiculous. But with any goal, like I said, you've got to break it down and go for it. And let's hope in that amount of time, I'll be smashing that no problem. As you can see, the total of this comes to 700,000, which is my goal. As you can see, this gets me to the amount I need within 13 years. And if I can do it before then, well, yeah, let's not get carried away. So that's my goal. Now, I need to go and figure out how to make £140 a month from somewhere. If you've got any ideas on side hustles, or you'd like me to do anything specifically, comment them down below, and I'll try and give as many of them as best to go as I can. And I'll document these, like I said, along the way, and I'll do a video on each one, as long as it is worth a video worth. There's no point in me making a video on something that takes 10 seconds. That way, I can share with you what works and what doesn't. If you want to support me on my journey, you can do so by hitting the like button below as that really helps out the channel. And that's it for me today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.